Today we're gonna be talking about the French Dispatch. So sit back and grab un café. The French Dispatch is directed by the great Wes Anderson. You might recognize him from films like The Moonrise Kingdom, Isle of Dogs, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and of course The Grand Budapest Hotel and many others. So the cast, it stars a lot of people. Timothy Chalamet, Benicio Del Toro, Adrian Brody, Owen Wilson, Lea Seydoux, Francis McDormand, Tilda Swinton, Bill Murray, Jeffrey Wright, Lina Coudry, and uh, many, many, many other people. This story is about the famed and fictional French Dispatch, which as a publisher is either kind of a magazine or a newspaper. It didn't, it wasn't like a hundred thousand percent clear to me. In this particular case, it tells a group, a small group of short stories or vignettes that take place in or around this small fictional town in France called Ennui. First and foremost, this is definitely, absolutely, purely a Wes Anderson film. So if you are not a fan of Wes Anderson, this film is probably not gonna win you over. However, if you don't know him, or you're already an existing fan, you very well could be in for a treat. This film has all the directorial mannerisms that you would expect from a Wes Anderson film, with gorgeous and meticulous cinematography that packs its frames with tons of tiny little details. Also, the camera moves around in a way that is almost as though it is its own character. More than half of the film is in black and white, and I do believe wholeheartedly it was effectively used as a creative kind of tool to emphasize certain details. However, I don't know if it was fully necessary, but I do respect it. I just think when we do see that color in the film, it is absolutely gorgeous, and we know that Wes is capable of really, really beautifully using color in his films, so it's kind of like, ah, it's kind of almost like a pity that he didn't use more color in the film, but I do understand and respect it. This movie was clearly made with a ton of love for the material and the themes that he really wanted to dissect here. He had a clear understanding of what he wanted to shoot, what, what he wanted to accomplish with this movie. The whole cast was fantastic, and I must remark on Wes's ability to pull in a fat cast. <laughs> There are so many people in this movie. No one individual sticks out, but I do think they all did a good job, and they're all very much so Wes Anderson characters. They're almost cartoonish in their characters, yet they are, at their core, is very human. The writing and dialogue is dense and contains a lot within it, and most of the delivery is fast and furious throughout the runtime of the film, so it requires actually, I would say, intense focus. Something that I thought was truly lovely in the film was the fact that many of the characters actually do speak French, whether they are French characters or not. Something that I thought was truly lovely in the film was the fact that many, many of the characters actually do speak French because we're in France. Many of the characters are French, like specifically with French actors, um, and, and the standouts being like Léa Seydoux or Lina Coutry, but I, I mean, many of the extras background characters all do speak French, whereas many of the English speaking characters are people who are from the US with a few exceptions, of course. But I just think it really shows the attention to detail that was given and the passion that was put into this film. I can't say whether or not this film is, say, the best in Wes Anderson's career, considering I haven't seen his entire filmography, but I do think it stands very firmly in his filmography, although it's not maybe quite as solid or cohesive as, say, if you've seen the Grand Budapest Hotel. I feel this is just because the Grand Budapest Hotel had a bit of a stronger narrative and we followed the same group of characters, allowing us to really develop those characters, care about them, and care about their plight. The French Dispatch does have an emotional core, although it might be a little bit more distant than, say, in the Grand Budapest Hotel. Still, by no means does that make the French Dispatch a 
bad film. Far from it, actually. Honestly, it is one of the best films I've seen this year so far. It is charming, sweet, enchanted, sometimes funny, and with a light emotional core that indeed can be felt if you truly give yourself to the film and its goofy but really truly human characters. If you're not a Wes Anderson fan in the sense that you've seen his prior films and said, Ugh, it's not for me, I would probably pass. Otherwise, I would highly recommend The French Dispatch, so go see it. I'm going to give The French Dispatch an 8 out of 10. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, brother. And uh, <laughs> leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought about The French Dispatch, if you've seen it. If not, let me know what your favorite Wes Anderson film is. As always, if you enjoyed the movie, please go ahead, subscribe, and like. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next review.